This video covers our last full day in Rome. We visit the Roman Forum and then the next day head off early back home to Melbourne. <music> It was with just a touch of sadness that we approached our last day in Rome and on our Europe trip. It started off uh, reasonably early to beat the heat. I think they were expecting around about 40 degrees on our last day. We made it out to the Colosseum. It was about a half an hour walk or so from our hotel and uh, proceeded to try and get into the Roman Forum. Both Joe and, and I had previously been to the Colosseum, so we didn't want to go again. But we didn't realise that in order to get tickets to the Roman Forum, you actually needed a ticket that entitled you to the Colosseum as well as the Roman Forum. And entry to the Colosseum was timed. So we were lucky enough that it wasn't that busy and we were able to book online tickets via our phone on site. And even though we didn't go to the Colosseum, that ticket gave us entry, untimed entry, into the Roman Forum. So that's what we did. It took us a little bit of time to work all that out, but uh, made our way into the Roman Forum and the ancient ruins. Entry tickets are around about 18 euros per person. When we got in, we made our way uh, to the Palatine Hill. It was scorching hot and not that much shade, and it made for an uncomfortable tour of the Forum. There were quite a few fountains that had very nice, cool and drinking water scattered throughout this attraction. So another tip would be to bring an empty water bottle and fill up, certainly on a hot day.
as you could probably tell from the footage the area is huge it's around about two hectares it was very very hot and uh, we spent about uh, almost three hours wandering around the site in the heat um, well worth seeing living history um, you've got buildings and and um, features that hark back to the 8th century BC just a truly spectacular place and we finished it off with a ice cold beer at one of the nearby cafes we woke up early the next day had breakfast and headed out towards the airport at around about 7 a.m. it was pretty quiet as you can see the roads are fairly empty it was going to be another spectacular summer's day we caught a taxi to the airport the price is fixed and it's 50 euros from memory um, so don't get ripped off 50 euros not a single cent more it was a bit disconcerting when the taxi proceeded to drive along the tram tracks but uh, the taxi driver did assure us it was legal. We did see a few other cars driving on there. I believe the other cars were some sort of hire cars, but nevertheless, it was a little bit disconcerting. We got to the airport nice and early, but uh, there were hardly any queues checking in uh, in the Qantas uh, area. So we had a number of hours to kill and proceeded to the airport lounge. So here I am at Priority Pass Lounge, Lounge Peninsula Airport. Not very big, is it? Desks, cute little cubicles. Oh, okay. It's they bring here. Okay, there's no. There's bar. And some nice food. We finally boarded our Qantas flight from Rome to Melbourne via Perth. This is a new route and uh, if you're interested, uh, I did do a review of this flight in premium economy in uh, a much earlier video. 
we really enjoyed our time in Europe. Many, many highlights. England, Italy, the Dolomites, Venice, Magical Rome, Slovenia, Croatia. It was just a wonderful, wonderful trip after uh, such a long time in lockdown. As you can see, the, uh, the travel got a bit uh, much for us, but we had a fantastic time and look forward to our next adventure. I do hope you've liked this video. If so, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until next time, bye.